Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, or Texan Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues playing as Lone Star. Last time, we took out Lubbock, and uh, we had a little bit of an uprising against another warband, but regardless, it's time for us to choose our next focus. Demobilize Lawmen, delete the Lawmen template, or remove all units created by this template, as well as Fatigued Lawmen, which we get 5% more political power, attack, and daily command multiplier gain, which ain't bad. Two Nations, One System... Uh, the corresponding focus to this one will be completed in the Texas Brotherhood's tree, or develop at home. Kind of like that one, but let's go and do the demobilize the lawman first to get 5% more political power, which isn't much, but whatever. Following the conclusion of the Civil War, we no longer have a real use for a heavily militarized body of lawmen. We should stand them down, letting them return to their old duties with newfound experience. Well, right now, I believe we're also justifying on the Cyber War Band, just because I want to take them out, and I want to get as many states under me before we can do, before we do Dreams of our Foam Texas. And eventually do declare the Provisional Republic of Texas, which is very cool. But we got a couple comments to go through as well. First of all, someone did recommend I try out Shale's Army. Uh, eventually I will. I'm not sure when, but I promise I will play as Shale's Army. There are maybe one or two different paths for him, perhaps. Ooh, yeah, I can go with the Curious Purchase. Garb Fit for General. Someone did recommend I go with the Curious Purchase, I do believe. Purchase FEV. You can, or you can just buy that? Okay. Revive the Matrons, oh my goodness. But yeah, I'll play the Shadows Army sometime. Someone also recommended that I play as other nations around Texas. Let's see, we have Unity of Austin, Houston's Rockets, or Houston Rockets, yeah, with the Astros down there. Ooh, TAA, there's Eden, and as well as the Ironmonger. Someone really wants me to play as the Ironmonger, which looks really cool, led by the Juggernaut, and does have unique focus trees, so. They are up for grabs, I will play them eventually. Especially since I want to try out that unique. Super Mutant Land Doctrine, which looks really, really cool. Let's see, we need a little bit, a few more motorized. We've got plenty of support equipment, uh, infantry equipment, as well as Spec Ops equipment, which is pretty darn good. We have 9 Army XP. NCR Declare one on the Umbra, Patrolmen. we got to edit this stuff. Texan Brother Declare one on the Desperados. We have normal infantry down here, which is 14 combat width, which I'm still going to try, continue to try to make bigger and bigger, which will be very, very bueno for us. Thank you very much. Keep doing that. Someone did recommend, though, I should try to research as much or as many tax as possible before we, be we become the Provisional Republic of Texas, because apparently there might have been a bug in the game where you couldn't research something. I'm not really sure, so I'll try to research as much as I can. We'll see what happens. No guarantees. Uh, let's see. Also, someone recommends I should play some Alamo chapter. Actually, I was considering doing that early on as, like, my first nation. Ooh, treasures of the old world, but it didn't happen, so. Worshipman payments, as well as Bunker Blues. Yeah, they do have a unique focus tree, but I don't think they have that much to do. Texas comes this time as a farce. United Texan Front, plea for help, unexpected aid. We have no problem. Old World Boons. Ooh, treasures of the Old World. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I definitely will play as pretty much every single nation here in the mod. That is a goal of mine. Eventually, though. Eventually. And, yeah, so, some other people were asking, is Lone Star more of the economic hub of Texas. Well, it's kind of. It has a trade node, which is good and all, but I wouldn't call it, call it the overwhelming grandmaster in terms of trade over here. Oh, crud. Ooh. We cannot do this now. Has not begun the equivalent focus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have taken that one first. What are you guys doing? Two nations, one system. Okay, so I can't complete it, but they can for now. We've been betrayed. At least they began that one. If we wait three days, we can do the next one. Ooh, modifiers will be increased by 0 0.03 for ourselves and our partners in the pact, increasing the strength. Okay, advanced training programs. I still need players of Texan Brotherhood sometimes, so I promise I will sometimes. What is it? Wait. Cool. So if we don't take that focus, I guess they will. So we go on to hold on. Oh, there's Rangers for Lone Star. Development is at home. Hmm. Request Ranger withdrawal. Learn from Ranger Garrisons. Army XP and infantry tech, or more stability and. Infantry equipment. I'm gonna go with develop at home, or developments at home. Lone Star proper is thriving. If we were to use our political capital to pull the right strings, we could help it boom even further. I want more civilian factories. Even though this is not to you know where you can build up your, if you build more factories, you can get more and more good stuff. Desperados, sure why not? Uh, good stuff, and by good stuff, I mean like less debt. Still, I think still okay. Oh wait, Leetown Lubbock. Or Clovis. We're building up Lee Town. Coleman, which is 5 out of 10. Rakshar, Haskell. 
Local workspaces are very, very nice. Let's grab some more output. Love me some basic tools. What else can we do here? How much money do we have? We have probably a deficit right now of money. Minus 3,000, so be it. So be it. Oh, we can march for Fort Summers too. Um, we might do that. We'll see what happens. Now, there was another comment saying that when we are taking out the states or you know, or conquering the wasteland, we should puppet to make the old states border. So let's we can tr attempt to make a state that resembles New Mexico, even though I don't think we'll be able to actually get the actual and true Redstone Republic. But we could try. We could definitely, definitely, definitely try. Self-sufficient stuff. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Agricultural research speed. Yeah, this one I'm pulling for. What do we have up here? Trader. Meh. Oh, we don't have that one. Recruit new mines. Mm, that stuff is okay. Use willing labor, huh? That stuff is okay. Patient teacher. Da 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 da. Eh, we'll just go back down here and grab self-sufficient. More consumer goods. More agricultural uh, stuff on my bobs. Stuff on my bobs. Yes. Monthly population goes up by 20%. Agriculture research speed, which is good. We just lost a little bit more manpower because we just made another division. A true infantry division. Glorious. We got some smoke signals. Let's grab some decryption. That is always bueno. And another infantry division. Thank you very much. Now we got 7 army XP, which is nice. And now if we're using normal infantry, we're going to use... Or at least get one more to make these guys 20 combat with. That would be bueno. And we still got you guys to deal with. And these are the special forces, which we got to adapt on to a little bit later. But we're getting enough army XP every day that I think we'll be okay. We get about 0.12 maybe? Yeah, 0.12 every day, which is not bad at all. After this one, we shall do... Let me score. We can do this stuff. Let's go forms. Oh, we get a research slot. Oh, let's do that one. Once a great institution of learning and research, the old campus of the Texas... Or University of Texas lies in ruin. With some love, and probably money, we can begin to restore academic research to this location, granting us all benefits. Unity of Austin, Texan Brotherhood, and Lone Star gets a research slot. Well, sign me up and don't mind if we do. Once we get this one done, of course, in one day. Volunteers from Austin. Keats feeling that we are in need has sent us a volunteer general. They're willing to take orders and help on the front lines as soon as necessary. Um. Okay. Sure. I know they're trying to kill off Shell's army, but... I'm not really going to get involved with that. Terrain penalty reduction, plus 20%. Not bad, not bad. Yep. Oh, wait, who are we fighting? We're fighting Desper... Oh, Desperados. Desperados. More encoded signals. Very cool. Oh, des ah, they're over here. I don't think they really need us. They will probably be okay without us. So, good luck, guys. Thumbs up. Cutting into the slave trade. They got a thousand manpower left. Do they have... They do not have unique focus tree. Starting the flow, of course. Kingpins. But okay. Whatever. Good luck, guys. If we had planes, we'd probably give you some. Do we have any planes? Oh, we might have a few planes, actually. Ooh, that's not bad. It's not great, obviously, but, you know, I'll, I'll take them. We can only get 1.1 political power every day. They have no airbase over there, so even doing this is kind of a waste. But whatever. Yeah, I want. I definitely want to take these guys out, too. And I might core Lubbock. I know once we get the provisional state of Texas, or provisional Republic of Texas, we can probably core this for free. But, mm, That means we have to race down there. I don't mind spending some political power for that stuff, but we'll see what happens. Hmm... Actually, how much would it take to core Lubbock? Lubbock is not bad to core either. Oh, that's not bad. Four Clovis is not bad. All right. Anyways, we got three days left after this. Actually, we do distribute arms to citizenry. That wouldn't be bad either. Further industrial knowledge, recruit new mines. Daisy Roth could do the I twenty restoration. Every state gets two level of infrastructure. Not bad. Expand international infrastructure. Ooh, it's not bad. Ooh, joins Texas Economic Union Technology Sharing. Form the Central Bank of Texas. Enhanced civilian commerce, joint resource campaigns, unified doctrine research, the union's economic boom. Ooh. Trade node in Lone Star will have its level increased by one, granting a significant economic boost. The Texas Brotherhood will receive one-time payment of 500 Caparinos. Well, I guess we'll probably do this one just because there's not much else we can do with that one, so avoid poking new beehives because we're going to need it. If we don't want to be stung by the war again, we should avoid finding new beehives to poke. Well, we'll see about that. Hmm... Plant cultivation? Don't mind if we do. True to Kaizaw. Wait, we can't do Fort marching to Fort Summers anymore. Oh, because guys are gone. True to Kaizaw, huh? Swear allegiance to the cohort? Our units and generals will be transferred to the Lanius' cohort, and they shall gain cores on our core lands. We shall switch tags to the Lanius' cohort and continue the Texas campaign as a new unified force. That is kind of wild. 
That was actually very, very wild. Wow. Begin a scavenging program. We could do that. Let's see. How about land doctrine? We're still doing well. Air doctrine. Let's grab some biplane fighters. That'd be kind of nice. They clear one of the executives. Clay working. Cool. Ah, uh, grab some research production because we'll probably need that eventually. Ooh, wow, we need more stability and stuff like that. Oof. You know, I'm, I'm probably just going to core this anyways just because we, we can. It doesn't help us that much, but we do get another military factory. We don't have to do, deal with the resistance down here, and we'll be fine probably in the long run. Treasure trove are men have found not only a few pieces of old world technology, but a successful working prototype. Butcher Pete's extremely pleased with our success, offering a favor for anything their capability in the future. We get 200 more manpower, 180 units of infantry equipment is added to the stockpile. We get better relations with Butcher Pete and plus 25 army XP. Hey, not bad. So if we go to war with these guys right now, what would happen? Do they attack us? No? Okay. If we attack them, would we do okay? That's a real question. Amarillo? Oh, Armadillo. Oh, sure, if you want to join, that's fine. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh, Captain, you got any upgrades for us? Snapper? Recon? I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Sure, you want to join, that's fine. Don't, don't, don't really care. Basic tools? Don't mind if we do. Vehicles. Uh, salvage motorcycles. Let's get some better motorcycles. A little bit more armor on our guys. That'd be kind of nice. How to hunt Mirelurks? Well, we're pretty good. We don't really need that. Begin a scavenging program. Let's go and do that. Drastic measures not needed. Political actions probably not needed for that one either. And season patriotism? No, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's not that bad. How many divisions do they have? Two to four. Alright. Well, good luck with that. Guys, if you build an airport, we could probably help you out. Actually, I forgot, yeah. Well, we can't even reach up there, too, so... Whatever. Cowboy country has been declared war upon. And Ar Armadillo? It's Armadillo. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Lone Star can level up. Beautiful. And the good side for Warband. Thank you for playing. Ooh, this is going to cost us more manpower and resistance and stuff like that, but that's okay. Because once we have the provisional state of Texas, or Republic of Texas, hopefully... We can get some free cores on this territory. Now, I, I don't know for certain, but hopefully. Wow, we really don't have a lot of war support or stability, but that's just because of war. And this is led by Grand Matron Sofia Cortez. I'm coming for Cortez, man. Hmm. Coordinated assault, don't mind if we do. Trooper warfare, plus 25% defense. Gosh darn. Wow. More recovery rate and reinforce rate and special forces capacity multiplier. You get, wow, you lose some flatter organization, but you get 4% more recruitable population. Walking infantry gets more recon or mechanized warfare. More breakthrough, soft attack, less max entrenchment, which is kind of costly. Soft attack for army, more speed, tank stuff. Well, we're not probably going to be using tanks. I think I'm still going to go with trooper warfare. It's very, very conventional for us. Good, good, good. And this is the only way in. Go ahead and train if we need to. You have an upgrade, sir? No, yes, maybe so. Ooh, observant leader, recon, plus 100% recon. And we're recon and entrenched. That's not bad. Ooh. We're going to get recon through our focus tree, right? Just for our divisions, right? They, they, if they do, that'd be great. They do get plus 0.5 more, so, I mean... Might as well, right? Might as well maximize the amount of recon we can get. So we're going to go with... Recon and then observant leader for even more recon. We're gonna be very reconnaissance peoples. Next up, what are we gonna do? Withdraw ranger withdrawals or request ranger withdrawals to get more stability. Learn from ranger stuff. Well, the bonus to technology is not bad. I kind of prefer more stability. Request ranger withdrawals probably. While the Texas Rangers or Texan Rangers were instrumental in defeating the hand ba war band, we're capable of keeping the peace now that the bulk of the army has been defeated. We should ask them to leave. And uh, let's see. Institute Army Reforms, delete Garrison Mercenaries Templates. Yeah. That'd probably be good. I can't be bothered to help anyone else. I know. I'm very selfish. Vault of Shack Market, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. We could get, get some caps, but let's get a regulated Shack's Market. You know, I, I always use that one. Let's go to Ching. Yeah. Kazal's Legion has joined Kazal's Legion. Did you know that? Kazal's Legion has joined himself in warfare. That's going to cost me 50. What the heck? Hold on. Reset. Remove. There you go. Can I remove? And can we go? No, we cannot. Well done. 
Why is my voice starting out like this? Happy 2276. Let's grab some flexible designs, because that's usually pretty good to do, I'd say. Pretty good. Trade. Construction. Oh, wow. We're doing really well with this. Uh, boost that up to Lubbock, though. Lubbock should get some more stuff. Some more love first. Actually, probably Snyder. If anything, Snyder should probably get the love. There we go. That's better. That's mo- oh, Actually, no. That's even mo better. Lone Star first. Because we can build things there very, very quickly. All right, infantry. Let's grab some. None of this stuff because it's all ahead of time. Actually, this stuff. Nah, that's ahead of time too. And some doggos. We love our Texas dogs, right? We love our doggos. We got well, a couple days left for that. We got quite a while to take out Mama Sofia Cortez with two pistols, one pistol in each hand, and it looks like a sombrero. Very cool. And while we're still trying to help to fight these guys, um. I'm still not getting involved. Oh, they took out Carthage, too. There was a Carthaginian gang, or Carthaginians here. And I guess off-screen they took them out, so... It is what it is. Radar's looking not bad. Okay, they, these guys are going to war with everyone. Why are you taking out Louisiana, too? What the heck? There's still no airbase I can help you with, son. I mean, I'll join. I don't really care. I'll join. But please don't kill off your own manpower. <laughs> True to guys, right? Now we good. Political bribes, military sign-in bonuses, weekly manpower. It might not be bad, but we'll see what happens. Lone Star Plus, add 0.25 development. Eh, that's not really that great. How much political power would it cost for us to do Lubbock? 182. Hmm. Not great, but not bad. Over here, we're still slowly getting mole and mole compliance. How's the world looking? Because I if I remember correctly, this is on historical. Not bad. Pretty... Pretty normal. Oh, oh yeah, the troll war were annexed early on. Old Spokane State. That sounds like such a university. Council of Mines, huh? It's kind of a generic book tree. That's all right. Let's see. Institute Army Reforms. Yes, please. Our army is heavily dependent on mercenary groups to form the majority of frontline battalions. We need to make this change to save caps and make our army more dependable. Now, regarding this, oh, oh, oh the Reclamation Authority. Cool. If I don't take any of these, do we, we still get the same benefits? Probably, right? We probably do. Hopefully we do. So hopefully we don't have to take these. So even though I did really want that extra research slot, which is always good to get more research. Always good. Anything over there a little bit ahead of time. You know, let's get some special warfare. Specialized warfare, I should say. That'd be good. Gliders, thank you. Crowd control, that'd be very bueno. Even though we're missing support equipment, we definitely need more factories. Oof. More divisions, don't mind if... Oh, we do. Oh, look at that. It's a mighty fine steed you got there. Rapid response core. Ten combat with that ain't gonna be enough. We're gonna need more than that. More, 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 more. Patrolmen. Remove. Add on you. Can we do that yet? Nope. Well, that is what we call garbage. Got some riders. And some water to drink from. Salvage cars. And get some tire profile because we can. Nice. 100 more XP. We could do outside of battalions. Mmm. We could. Ah, eh, screw we'll do it. Just get more compliance gain. This way, this stuff becomes under us much faster. 0.8 goes to 0.1, goes to 0.4, to 0.7, maybe? Or 0.8. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely take that. Get slightly more non core manpower, which helps out too. Alright, anything over here? Ooh, dynamite. Let's get some dynamite. And we might get some field hospitals too. Institute Army Reforms, very good. And then after that, Doggos. Ooh, the press captures Desperado's plans. Somehow members of the press have captured Desperado's plans for a major offensive. It turns out that the same reporters who criticize the glorious government are also willing to report on opposed movements. This is a stern reminder of whatever our differences were all Lone Star. They can't stop the press? Oh, they try, they try. Which is... Okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter to us too much, just because... We're not really doing too much with them, so... Prepare defense is good. Let's grab some anti-tank or anti-armor tactics. That'd be good. Time to throw on some doggerinos. Thank you. We should just get some close air support too. After this, institute army reforms. And then... And western resistance. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, we want to get rid of this stuff. So, through a focused military and political campaign, we should be able to stamp out the last of the hand war band that haunts our western territories. Because this little national spirit... It's very bad for us, because we lose weekly manpower by four, 
as well as 10% stability, and this one hurts our military factory construction speed, consumer goods, and resource efficiency gain. Captures Maul's plans, well, that's okay. Uh, achievement production capability, eight military factories, well, we have how many? Seven, so an achievable goal, sure, we get money if we do that successfully, so. Oh, and we lost a couple divisions, too, but that's fine. Y'all veterans, oh, we have less than a thousand men, probably that's not ideal. Ooh, if that's okay, let's do that one first, that'd be fine. You know, you can build that one first, it doesn't really matter. As long as we get one more factory, that's all we need. And we get more organization opinion and 150 caps. That's actually really good. Yeah, maybe, maybe we cut down a little bit on the army here. Just a, just a wee bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. It's up, man. You guys take a while to kill those guys off. It looks like the brother is slowly winning. Oh my goodness, you're really just trying to kill off each and every single man in their divisions, aren't you? That's it. Next one will be done. Will be healing powder. Uh, a couple comments some. Uh, someone recommended that I play as the o NCR again once the Old World Blues mod is 100% done. I will. I'll probably actually play them when... Did they get an update? I think there, w there was an update. I'm not sure if there's going to be another update for them. There might be. So I will play as them again. Probably at least maybe once or twice. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know. So. Ooh. so yeah, we'll probably do that. And also, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should restart the turbines or scrap the turbines down in this part of the focus tree. And overall... The overwhelming support at the time of this recording was to go to not Los, but restart the turbines. So we're going to go down this path when we can. Once we are finished with a good chunk of our focus tree, it's going to take a while. Yeah, Texas, you can see Texas goes all the way up to here, and then you take out the last lodge all the way down to here, all the way down to here, up until right there. Cool. Up next, veteran training groups. Economic advisors, expedition leader, oh, traders available. We'll get more 10% more caps. That might not be bad. Finding the army. Ooh, maybe we want to go well equipped army. Actually, we do lose money that way, but we get more consumer goods to use. I don't think we're going to go to war anytime soon, so let's go and go well equipped army. Healing powder is nice. Happy Janu January 22, 77, my friends. Vacuum tubes don't mind if we do. And Lone Star, because we built so much in Lone Star. Oh. Desperados, we'll give that to. The nation that probably deserves it the most. The Texan Brotherhood. They need 50 more. And we have it now. There you go. See, all you just gotta do is build up in your lands and you get more development. Easy peasy. Level up 6. Uh, oh, we need more political power. Oh, it costs political power to do that. I didn't realize that. Cool. Revitalize eastern regions. After much conflict, our eastern settlements have been devastated by battles and raids. We need kickstart healing. Absolutely. And we'll soon enough have enough political power to do that as well. Specialized warfare. Let's go ahead and do this. Special forces expansion. That would be very, very nice. And is this going to cost us some political power? It does cost you political power. I did not realize that. Unregulated shack markets, huh? And we got Dinamite. Very good. Let's come back over here. Industry. And grab some more output. Helps with population just a wee bit. A wee bit. And soon enough, we'll have tired profile, which would be great. How much longer must we go to wait for Mama Sophia? Not much longer. Not much longer at all. They don't seem to be very, very difficult. And maybe I should stop taking out so many nations. I think this will be the last nation we take out for a while, just because, uh, well, I'm not sure our supplies can really hold on to this much territory and really allow our manpower to continue getting hurt, but whatever. Oh, we got 350. We could invest stimulus into Lone Star, but hmm. Let's come over here, and we'll probably get revolvers. Why would we not get revolvers as Lone Star? I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, you guys are coming through here. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. That is so sad. Oh, a single militia holding out. Oh, oh, so close. Just gonna take Wichita Falls. That'd be great. Use more factories. Camel station's gone, and we have gotten it. Even though we've only done 22%, we didn't really really need anyone else to join the war, but we're going to take all the war score because no one else needs it. Especially you, YouTube heads. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. Alright, I'll finish these guys off, guys. That'd be great. Alright, next up. I'm not really sure. The Lannis could go to war with us, maybe. I'm not really sure, so... I'm going to put these guys over there just in case. Put you guys over there, too. I really don't know what the provisional state of Texas's focus tree looks like, so. Because this is part of Texas, North Texas. Southern Oklahoma, or South Oklahoma, East Texas, Stoop Heads, Assassin City, huh. And the Texas Economic Union is looking pretty good, with even parts of Louisiana joining us, whether they like it or not. 
Gale's army. Actually, we do have Unity of Awesome with us. Eden? What is Eden? Led by Scarlet, they do have local pride in the corpse. We should get more. Plus 25 entrenchment. Gosh darn. And we should be getting paid very soon, which is awesome. Do we not build a military factory yet? Hold on. I'm pretty sure we did build a military factory. I'm more than certain we have at least eight, right? I thought we built one. Well, we'll let's do the best we can. And, dreams of reform Texas. We need to mint the Texan dollar. Focus on new research. Mint the Texan dollar. Oh, we get to go over here. Expand inter-nation infrastructure. Mint the Texan dollar. Well, that looks pretty good. Joint arms production. Or develop it. By augmenting the Lone Star's industrial mod with the Texan Brotherhood's military expertise, we can significantly increase our military output. Awesome. More arms workshops? Yeah, that would be great. Within 60 days, too? Ah, well, I just... Or within 40 days. Secret Meatloaf. Recently, we've heard of a man who goes by the simple moniker T. But then again, we got Gator Maz who wants to capitulate to the uh, Brotherhood. Which we need 131. Score to give it all to the Brotherhood. Very good, very good, very good. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Very nice. Uh, he claims to be from a faraway land that we cannot find on any old world maps. We pointed out from his description that an ancient country of great war is called Sweden, but it seems that that's not from the mysterious T. Hales, judging by his extremely irritated expression. Regardless, the ghoul brings a secret with him. The best goddamn homemade meatloaf recipe we've ever tasted, and he wants to share it. Our best grub grifters have dropped, adopted the famous recipe all throughout the country. Recently, groups have been making pilgrimages, pilgrimages from even distant lands of foreign and exotic gods just to have a taste. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Y'all doing great. Let's see if we can actually convert some of these guys over some more in the 80s New Hammond. Still have never played as 80s. Maybe someday. Yes, another one is done. Very, very good. Let's go and grab some Moist on Survivalism. Walking Infantry uses less supplies and better supply grades, which is not bad. Rapid response. Patrolman. Can I get, can I get rid of you and then do this? No, we cannot. How sad. How absolutely sad. Anyone else need training? No, the price is right. What is that? Oh, it went by so fast! It went by too fast, man. Come on. Send out manual prospectors? Uh, I suppose we could. You never know what you might find. Get the armor. Can we actually change this? It might be worth it. Actually, I'm going to wait for the focus to change it, probably. Battle for Hooper Dam. Battle will shape the Mojave, no matter the outcome. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually, you know what? Let's do it like this as well. I'm going to stop making these divisions. He's motorized and make him actually 20 combat width, so. I wonder who's going to win here. On historical, Kaiser should lose. I mean, when I when I played as Kaiser, I did lose the first battle of Hooper Dam. So which meant there was going to be at least a second battle of Hooper Dam. So, develop joint arm production. Mint the Texan dollar. To inspire international trade with the uh, Texan economic pack, it has been decided that we should establish a Texan dollar. A bold idea, indeed. We get the Texan dollar, better resource efficiency gain, consumer goods factories, and passive caps income. Don't mind if we do. Very, very nice. Follow the shock market. Yeah, cha-ching, huh? 15%, 5%. More caps, old world wall holds, and unstable status quo prevails. Very nice. Sounds like we might have a guy who has been, who's going to get burned for his misactions, I suppose you could say. Doggos, not making any doggos yet. Vacuum tubes looking pretty nice. Let's grab some radio. Some primitive radio, I should really say. Ooh, how much do we need for this? 183. That's not bad. We still get 1.3 every day. And at least the Texas Brotherhood, or Texan Brotherhood, is at least at peace for now. That's good. Let's grab some acclimatization training. Very good. Five research slots. Never enough. Public projects. And then we'll also probably do some construction or metalworking. After that, we'll get some revolvers. That'll be nice. Lance declared one of the twin mothers. All right, all right. Well, good, good luck with that. And the Texan dollar. We have 16 days left. 15 days-ish. And I really want to core Lubbock. Just to get those, get those factories right now. But it's going to take some time. Still get so much army XP. I love it. Navajo declared we're on the reservation. Cool. And what's research done? Five days versus 48. So that's good. Bone Dance is declared one of the Shoshone Nation. We'll get, get some of this. We'll probably grab some Pioneer Kits next. I think that'd be pretty good to do. And then we can choose another focus. Love it. From, form the Central Bank of Texas, huh? That's cool. And after that, what we're going to do is, I want to get down here, right? So we, we got to get down there. Oh, focus on new research. 
So, expand internation infrastructure. If we were to really make a Texas or Texan economic union, boom, we should expand infrastructure near our mutual borders to encourage cross-border trade. More infrastructure, increase more modifiers. Very nice. Better pop guns, thank you. Dynamite, we ain't making dynamite yet? What the heck? Cool. Construction. Oh wow, we're actually still building stuff up quite a bit. Nice. Uh, build up a lot of infrastructure. Or, well, a lot of infrastructure once we build up a lot of civilian factories, that is. Nice. Love it just to get it done with for now. Give us enough political power or manpower, too. Beautiful. How is the resistance around here? Invest stimulus in Lone Star. Oh, it's really good. We've got quite a bit of compliance already, which is not bad. Ooh, it's not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. We could do Miss Stimulus. New citizen care package would not be bad. We get less resistance target, which I do like. Political bribes, it's not bad either. Uh, Send out stuff over there. Political actions, nothing there. Drastic measures, nothing there. I suppose we can invest stimulus in it into Lone Star. You might as well at this point, right? There we go. About to get paid soon. 101 more quarterly caps. That'd be kind of nice. Demo equipment's looking very good as well. Let's go ahead and throw some on. I love like veterans. Patrolmen first, because we can. And our normal infantry. Gave them a little bit more bite. Scavengers found something better in our hands than our enemies. A bonus in naval doctrine. How great. <laughs> How great. How much support equipment? We got 320. Hey, look at that. Lone Star. We got enough political power for you. Level 7, right? Yes, it is. Expand internation infrastructure and then focus on new research. Part of the job of the economic union is pushing the boundaries of what we believe economically possible. The best, thing, best way to do that is to develop new technologies. Nice. Very, very, very good. Shell's army declared war. Oh, they're going to war with Eden. Yeah, we're probably going to have to kill off Shell's army eventually. I'm a little unsure what to make of them. Defending against the monster, huh? Oh, they might go to war with Lanius. they got plenty of manpower. What divisions do they have? Interesting. Interesting. How much family factors do we have? Some Gero's conviction. Well, I think it's time that we could probably form an intelligence agency. Dark Stars. Well, I guess we'll use that template. I like this emblem, too. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Why not? For the funsies. Got kind of a good army for uh, stuff here. Infantry, mixed mercenary forces. Aren't we supposed to get rid of those eventually? New system security package. All the way through to Kaizaw. No, nothing really there. We got how many more days left for, for the next one? Oh, Wasteland survivalism will be very good to get rid of. Yeah. I suppose we could go to war with maybe these guys. Oh, the Texan... Assassin City's war against the Texan Brotherhood. Well, maybe we go to war with them and give that territory to them. Oh, that's where Paris, Texas is. It's pretty far in eastern Texas. I didn't realize that. Over there, huh? Choctaw Nation. Well, we'll let them go to war with them. Let them take them out and follow the apocalypse. Oh, let them come. They'll only do good. If you'd like to read this, go right ahead, but I'm not going to waste time on the survivors for now. Or followers. Mercenary conscription. Reinforce rate. Special forces modifier. Walk more recovery rate. Love it, love it, love it. Three more days. Probably two more days. And... Dreams of reform Texas, right? Few would have previously dared to dream of a new Texas would be possible, but thanks to the advance, the advances the Texan economic union is, has entered the realm of reality. Exciting times are quite ahead. We dare to dream. I really want to reform Texas. Really, really do. Now we're lowering a war sport. Oof. I don't like that, though. No, 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 no. Dark Stars has been formed. Cool. And we, we need caps to upgrade this stuff. So let's go and form a department then. Primitive radio. Cool. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Standardized tools. Wait, unlocks decisions. Tax breaks? Wait, what was that? Tax breaks for factories. I did not realize that, huh? Acclimatization training? Cool. Get battlefield hierarchy. More special forces stuff. Very good. Infantry. It's going to cost us some manpower, but I'm going to throw on some chems already. Thank you. And let's come back over to... Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's get some crop rotation. Get stuff done and research as fast as possible. Now, we could go lifetime pensions. You get more max training, more recruitable population, more army XP, more special forces capacity multiplier. But caps expenses plus 35%. Wow. Or mothball divisions where you get minus 90% caps expenses. Pretty much 23% less, 23 less attack. Minus 41% division recovery rate. And minus 60% division organization. Good lord, why would you ever choose that? National Guard, standard wages, family stipends, huh? Hmm. I suppose you could probably get there eventually once you have a big enough, tr or have enough trade nodes, really. Let's get some more defense. That'd be good. Tribal scout kits, pioneer kits, thank you. 
halfway done with that focus, and next up we shall do probably crop rotation. Eden was annexed. Oh, well. That is a big old shale's army. I don't like that. Former department, great. Ooh, cost 10 Texan dollars. That's all right. Just in case. And just in case. Let's recruit Karna Water Waterhouse Heavyweight. Ooh, I like this one. Let's go Robert Jones just because he helps limit the amount of caps or information. Or prevents too much information from leaking. Words are hard. Level 8, not bad. Construction. We building up a lot of things most beautifully around here. Dallas looking pretty good. Alexandria. I didn't know there was an Alexandria. Uh, Louisiana. Shreveport. Yeah, I've, been, I've heard of that. Texarkana. Is that, I guess this is technically Arkansas. Not Al Hajara, but you know, whatever. Ooh, whatever. Cherokee Nation is really cool. I need to play them someday. The Last Patrol is going to get some content in the future. At the time of this recording, it's not here yet, but it'll it'll be here. Oh, hold on. They already have some content. Never mind. The Big Spend. State's first elections. It's kind of cool. We dare to dream. Two decades ago, Texas was a fractured and chaotic mess of raiders, slavers, traitors, and mutants. Then things changed. Ra together, Lone Star and the Texan Brotherhood signed the Texan Ec Economic Union, mutually beneficial for both. The union ushered in two decades of economic growth in both nations. Lone Star thrived as trade along I-20 boomed, and the Texan Brotherhood expanded to protect yet more settlements. Together, the two brought stability and wealth to the central and southeastern regions of the old Texan Commonwealth. As a result, a previously ridiculous idea has left the realm of insanity and joined the team or realm of possibility. That idea, a new Texan Republic. By combining the economic power of Lone Star with the military and peacekeeping prowess of the Texan Brotherhood, we could bring stability to the Texan wastelands previously unheard of. For the good of our people, we owe them to try. Forwards, together. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab anything here. Eh, we could. We don't really have to. If I'm going to do anything ahead of time, it's going to be simple circuitry and more research speed. And then... Oh, wait, we can't do this now. Oh, it have to be a war for that. Oh, okay. Enlarged mission to the Texan Brotherhood, huh? Don't mess with us. Every cap's... Oh, wait, we could have done that naturally. Every cap for the army? Welcome to army. Every cap for the... Oh, well... Actually, that's not bad, then. Integrate the I-20. Oh, if Lubbock Expedition is present in Lubbock, they will be able to leverage or influencing over their government to demand their annexation. Otherwise, we may have to resort to more direct means of acquiring their land. Before we can proclaim a new Texan Republic, we must ensure our trade order remains open to us. To do so, we must ensure that I-20 is open to traders by protecting it directly ourselves. The Lubbock Expedition will no longer do. Well, I mean... Hopefully, we can just core the area. I hope so, because we already took them out, so... Unregulated shack markets? That's kind of cool. Uh, do we have anything about Shale's army? We might do it when we reform the nation, of course, but... Hmm. 138 caps. Unity of Austin is part of us. I don't want to take out Oklahoma. I do want to have, like, a just one strong Texas, and maybe even combine Texas-Louisiana, since, well, the Brotherhood already took, took out Louisiana. So, hmm. Land doctrine looking good. Specialized doctrines. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do Ranger Mountain Tactics, or training. Since we want to maximize our special forces anyway, so... I, this is not bad. Y'all, doggos, fire teams, anti-tank. Can't really do that for now. Patrolman, can I take you off and actually do that? Maybe? You get my hopes up. Not bad. Can I remove you and do the same one again? Yeah, nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. That's why we divide things more effectively. There we go. Only 10 combat with, but you know what? I, I take them. Oh god, our war sports continue to drop. Scavenge with vehicles next. Ooh, new system scare package. Nah, we good. Ace clear one. Grab her territory. We do have open to traders, which is not terrible. Head in the clouds. Paint it red. Uh, that stuff is okay. Trader. Watch out for spies. Union financier. Hmm. Senior patrolman. Well, I'm going to go with veteran training initiative. Instructors. A little more organization, but a little bit better just for vacation times. That isn't too bad. And 13 days, we'll have battlefield hierarchy. And in less than 10 days, we'll have integrated the I-20. Nice. Don't mess with us. Let's do that one. Just as the Texan Republic of old armed itself against the Mexicans, so too must we defend ourselves against the raiders of the wastes. Every cap for the army, get some more consumer goods probably. We probably lose a little bit more money, but we get a little bit more factory construction speed as well, which is okay. Shale's army is just a fine against us, huh? Hopefully it doesn't take too long for them to go to war with us. We would like to see a little bit of uh, that little action action. Oh, battlefield hierarchy, don't mind if we do. 
in which we're going to grab Elite Breakthrough Tactics. Alright, so are they doing manually or through a focus? They're doing it through focus. Three way war for unity. Now let's go and stop training. Y'all, stop that. Y'all, stop that. You guys are probably going to come down there. And I really want them to attack. Oh, never mind. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Y'all could probably do that then. One, two, three, four. Four, because I'm going to throw in even these kind of garbage mercenary garrison soldiers. That's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, because we can. And that should cover all our holes. It's always good to cover your holes. Very nice. Not sure when they're going to go to war with us, but hey, the followers will be established very soon, too, so. Demand or. But who's that? Is that Lubbock? I'm gonna guess. I mean, we already took him out, so I don't really worry about that. Followers establish themselves. So be it. Just stop lowering my gosh darn war support. Ah! <laughs> so bad right now. Support equipment. Eh. You know what? We could probably do that. It's not bad. Only 10 political power. Mercenary conscription. Let's go and grab some civilian draft. Our organization goes down by how much? Minus zero? Probably 0 0.5, I'm gonna assume. Six days left for militia training for more defense, which would be very bueno. Still 1.3 political power every day. Become a spy master? We could. You know, let's become a spy master now because we might not be able to become a spy master later on. Militia training is good. Let's grab some additional plating, probably. Yeah. Additional plating, why not? And then. Uh, let's see. Basically, it's a weaponry or marksman rifles. GR Mark 1s. GRT Mark 1s. Profits from the drug trade. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. We get some more caps. She has armed to clear war on Unity of Austin. Very cool. Pulse Energy Weapon 3 is nice, but this is just slightly more different, so I like the different name there. Roller Skates. Anything unique? Not really. Death Claws 8 some of our team. Well, that sucks. Uh, guys, would you like everyone to join in? Uh. Maybe maybe we can't. You're not, yeah, you're not fighting either. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, there goes Unity of Austin. Then again, that doesn't really hurt us too much because since then uh, the Brotherhood will have to defend this area and that area when they do go to war with each other. Oh! Caravan ambush. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. This happens pretty much every campaign. We can at least try to find those who threaten our caravans, though. Ironmongers are going to war with them as well. Jesus. This must be a three-way war. No wonder they said... Ooh, oh, we can go to war with these guys, too. Nice. Did I need war support? Uh, Jonathan Rossier. Or Rosser. That'd be fine. Mm, now, you're a little busy, son. I'm not going to let you come in. <laughs> you a little busy. Radio, nice. Happy 2278, everyone. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Paris is going to fall soon. Because they already beat it, and they're gone. Well, hopefully, once they take Sulphur Town. So that's kind of sad. I live in Sulphur Town. That doesn't sound very good. Come on, guys. You almost got it. You almost got it. Don't mess with us. Oh, they're probably doing a last stand there, too. Nice. All right. Ranger Mountain Training. Lannis approaches. Oh, boy. One army for Texas. Two more conscription laws. Delete mixed mercenary units. Established dominance over the I-10. Oh, what is this? We sent in an offer of economic partnership to whoever owns Fort Stockton, the head of the I-10, offering economic aid in exchange for sole control of the I-10. Should they decline or generous steel, we may have to consider other more direct approaches. If they accept, the following effects will occur. Uh, we lose consumer goods, we get stability, lose research speed, and they pretty much get some benefits. But let's try that. Establish dominance. Well, currently, currently, the I-20 is the only viable and state route in Texas. Should the I-10 to our south fall under reliable hands, we may find our economy severely undermined. We must ensure that the only people to control trade in Texas are ourselves. Very, very nice. We got all this stuff done, and let's go and grab some Ranger Endurance Training. Cool. Assassin City. Well, welcome to the rule of the Texan Brotherhood. We have three score per click, so I'm going to give you this first click. Thank you. And now we need 51. That should be enough for you guys. There you go. Good job, guys. So, I want to ask you guys a question. Normally, whenever I play Old World Blues, and we do Special Forces stuff, I normally go on this right side here. Foxhole Doctrine, Marksmanship Doctrine, Field Surgery Doctrine. Should I, instead this time, for this campaign, go Special Forces Expansion 2, 3, and 4, just so that we can eventually maybe have a whole thing of Texan Rangers? You know, we could probably call them Texan Rangers. Cool. 
Let me know in the comments below which side I should choose. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will probably go to War of Shell's army and try to create the Provisional Republic of Texas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.